it's me again. The customer brought me a F-150. As you can see, it died out in the street. We had to push it. <laughs> uh, problem with it is, is it's not charging. If I can figure out how to open the hood on it, we'll be good to go. Uh, I've done a little bit of diagnostic, diagnostics or whatever you want to call it, where we were at the first time. And uh, what's happening is the alternator is not getting a charge signal. <clears throat> I don't, I'm somewhere between up in here and the alternator. Uh, I'm not getting the 12 volts or whatever is required to start the alternator charging. So, what I'm going to do is take the wire off the alternator, which is down in here, right there. I'm going to take that wire off and I'm going to unhook it from here again. And I think that's my, the wire I'm looking for. Pretty sure. And I'm going to uh, check for shorts all the way down the wire. Now, I think it's at the pigtail itself from the way the pigtail looks. But I could be wrong. So we'll find out. <coughs> uh... I gotta get me some cigarettes. <clears throat> As y'all know, I hate Fords to begin with. <laughs> but, I figured I would do this video just in case uh, somebody's having the same problem. Because I guess this has happened to quite a few trucks. Now, I'm hopeful that that's the, that, that's the whole problem is that uh, alternator wire. I gotta get some new tools. <coughs> and uh, while I'm getting these tools, I guess I could show you uh, my new computer case if it's light enough in here. Not the best video. By the way, that LED is bright as fuck. And that's a full size ATX. <clears throat> Grabbing my nut driver. And I did find out something today about F-150s and possibly other Fords. I had the DIN take disconnected right here and I had this unhooked and uh, this little bitch wouldn't run with it unhooked which kind of surprised me actually I was not expecting that I ain't done a video in a while and it turned out to be a nice day warming up pretty fast so I figured uh, why not since I actually got something that needs done you know right now I'm just taking the air intake off so I can get to that alternator and get to the wiring what kind of clip is that there we go if I can get this off here, we'll be good to go. <laughs> there we go. That bullshit's out of the way. Uh, well, I'm 
know if you guys can see this. Uh, actually, you can't. <laughs> right here, under this bracket, is the uh, pigtail. And it runs up this to here with the main and the start wire. So, I'm going to work on getting this off of here real quick. Uh, I'm not going to film the whole thing because it will be boring as shit. But once I get that wire off, we'll do some tests on it. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so what I've done is disconnected the, the lead and the connector. The connectors off of the uh, alternator. here they are and I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure this green with red stripe and sorry if I'm loud I'm like right up against the camera I'm pretty sure this green one with the with the white red stripe is the start charging wire uh, it looks pretty shitty up here by the connector. <clears throat> I've got the whole thing undone, including the main. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the battery up, turn the key forward, and I don't know if I can get a start signal from this truck with the uh, key on, or key, just the key on. I think it has to be running to get a start signal. But we're going to find out. <laughs> Make sure I ain't touching nothing. Alright. Now we're going to go over here. And turn the key forward. If there's enough, I may have to charge the battery before I do this. Yeah, it says there's about 10 volts. So let's see what we get. And yes, it's going to need to be jumped before uh, it starts. Let me get my little tester going on here. And it's just a cheap 12 volt tester. Has a little red light on it. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Shows up green on camera, but it's actually a red light. Now, I'm going to test back here and see if I have a star signal for the alternator. If I do, then I'll plug this back in and test it down there at the pigtail. <clears throat> if I can get it off. <laughs> Fucker. And whenever you're working with electronics, be very careful because you don't want to short nothing out because it could have pretty bad effects on the computer. And we have a start signal, which is surprising. So we're going to plug this back in. We're going to check this connector right here. And we have a signal here too. Oh, we do have a short. It's in the red, though. Okay. Yep, we have a short in the red side. Okay, so I'm going to probe this wire about an inch away from the connector and see what I got. Ow, and stab myself. Okay, I've got red up there. Now let's probe it right at the connector. And it's hot there too, what the fuck.
Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do some more looking and uh, see what I come up with. I'm gonna try and do a better test on these because that ain't working. All right, have fun. Stay tuned. I'll be back in a minute. So it turns out it was a short in the wire harness. Uh, right now I just twisted the wires to make a connection temporarily uh, because I found out that's the dealership part. You can't just get that bastard at your local auto zone. So I'm getting ready to take the truck back to the customer. And me and him are going to go across town to the Ford dealership and go get a new harness. I'll keep you updated and I'll probably do some more video of this. And all these videos will be put together. Sorry for saying see you in a minute and all that. Uh, anyway, we're going to go get that and that's where we'll be next.